So we'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there anyone here for a public audience? Just here to say hi. Hi guys, <laughs> glad to have you here. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a, a short meeting because we have another meeting at 5:30 um, at Eno that we all need to get to. Um, but and it's everyone had a chance to review the minutes. Yes, I have no corrections to make. Dave and Don, any corrections? <laughs> They're poorly done, but yeah. every, every day we can get. They're better, <laughs> better than what I can do, so thank you for doing those. All right, seeing no changes, the meeting, uh, the minutes will stand as final. We do not need a vote on that. We'll go on to the Ethel Walker Woods update. We had a brief meeting with the people from Ethel Walker Woods, including the new headmistress, Mira uh, Vizwanathan, and Jeff was there, and I'll let you just briefly update on the status there. So and Jeff, Jerry was there as well. So with the new head of school, we, we basically reviewed the uh, Ethel Walker master plan that was prepared back in 2016. We talked a little bit about some of the roles and responsibilities of each party. Uh, and uh, there was some questions, um, at least one, one page. We had an incorrect page in one of our drafts, and a duplicate page, and that was a little, that had to be, be clarified with them. Um, and that had to do with the issue of, I believe, uh, maintenance, as I recall, Jerry. Uh, so we clarified that. They seemed to uh, be in support of the master plan. They thought it was a good product. Who is they? Yeah. This was Ethel Walker? No, no. Oh, at the school. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I think that was it. We just told them to keep them informed in terms of uh, improvements that we were uh, planning and proposing for the, for the 400 acres. And uh, that was about the extent of the, the meeting. Right. So, so we just want to update folks. And Jerry and Jeff are moving along with the plans on uh, Town Forest entrance. Yeah, well, matter of fact, we had our pre-proposal meeting today. The project is out to bid, and bids are due next week, so we anticipate getting started sometime in July. All right. Great. Thank you. Uh, any other questions? Did we ever get around to conform the, or the town ordinance to the horse use in the contract? No. So they are allowed to use horses at Ethel Walker Wood, even though our regulations say no horses in parks. So it is an exception to that. We will have to clean up the ordinance at some point. I'll remind you once a year. Don't okay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, can you please take the chair, Don? I need Certainly. to step outside for a second. We'll move on to the plan of conservation development update. Uh, is that you, Alan? Could be. I can do it. Can you do that for us? Yep. The uh, proposed plan or draft of the plan is on the uh, town website right on the opening page. There's a public meeting uh, to take public input this Tuesday at 7 at the library downstairs. Uh, it would be good, I think, to review what's proposed. And uh, I know the commission will be very interested in people's input. Comments or questions? All right, I'll move on then to uh, signage along the river update. Um, actually, as most of you know, the uh, carry-in, carry-out policy that was uh, recommended by the Culture Parks and Recreation Commission was approved by the Board of Selectmen. It will take effect on July 1. We've ordered uh, to start with 20 signs that will be placed uh, in the parks and along as well as Curtis Park and the Pinchot Tree. Which we said originally we would we wanted to try and keep those those uh, signs uniform. So they will all be uh, we'll start with 20 signs. We're also trying to have an information campaign, um, you know, to get the word out um, in terms of uh, you know what that policy will entail. Um, so I guess getting to the uh, signage along the river, uh, it is now all encompassed within our, our whole park system. So I was just meeting with the chief. We did have a bear incident, so I'll give you guys the update on that. Um, has everyone heard about the bear incident? I haven't. What? 
uh, a bear incident. In town Fer Forest Park in Simsbury, a woman was scratched by a bear on one of the trails just west of the baseball field at town Forest Park. The woman was walking on the trail with her dog. As she came around the bend, she and her dog encountered a bear. She followed recommended safety protocol, making noise and appearing larger. Her dog ran toward the bear and put the bear between the woman and her dog. The bear ran toward the woman, away from the dog, and the woman was scratched by the bear as she fell to the ground. She did not require emergency medical attention at the scene. Sinsbury Police Officer, Sinsbury Animal Control, and DEP responded. DEP is tracking the bear for removal. And that's the update we have, but she's fine. When did this happen? Today. Yeah, it's been on, it's been a crazy day. It's on the internet, Helen. Yeah, yes. <laughs> now, the bear scratched, I'm sorry if I'm asking unnecessary questions, but the bear scratched her? Mm -hmm. In other words, he went toward her to scratch yeah. her? Or was just going by her? We believe and it was a mother her. bear protecting her cups. Gotcha. So. And the dog that, that encounter not didn't. Uh, that I don't know. Well, if he got the bear got between the dog and the and the lady, it sounds like the dog was loose. Or she let go of the leash. I don't know. <laughs> he might let go of the leash in a situation like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, so that's the information we have. That's what I was getting from the chief. It's been an interesting day to say the least. <laughs> okay. Never have a dog you can't outrun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we did signage along the river. We do have uh, the water shor shortage ordinance. We believe there is agreement. The subcommittee met. They have language. Uh, council has seen it, is okay with it. I hope to have it come before the board on Monday. I don't know if we need to have another hearing or not. Uh, we'll be checking with council uh, tomorrow night to see. I mean, he's coming in for consultation, we'll, so we'll see if we need to um, hold an extra hearing on the language changes. I, I do believe they're minor. And hopefully we can uh, put that to a vote, if not this week, the following one. I'll be out of town this Monday, so if, it, if there's a need for my put advice, it, it should come before Monday. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll get you a draft. Right. Uh, if I forget to do that, can you send me an email? Because yep. things are a little nuts right now. Um, for those who don't know, there is a meeting tonight at 530 um, on the solar project. A proposal. This is something this, the town has very little input in, very very little notification. Our role starts once the application is filed. I have to update you later on this, Mike. Um, and not until then. So, I mean, they've done, they've come in from, for some initial consultation meetings and they've been holding some public hearings. So, who is sponsoring this meeting today? Who's we are at the town. The town. And then there's another one. On By the 22nd? Deep, yes. De oh, thank you. I need to remember to bring that. Yes, Deepwater Wind is going to be hosting one on the 22nd. This is not a town project. The residents who lived in the area wanted an opportunity to talk with town staff and ask questions of staff, even though the staff will not be involved in the process, the approval process, and our boards and commissions will not. Well, once we get the application, we'll do a staff review and see if there's any comments or issues we want to raise with the siting council. Will Deepwater be there to represent themselves today? I believe so. Okay. So, um, but that's coming. And it, people, some people are for it and some people are not. We've had very mixed uh, interactions. The people who are against it are very upset and understandably so. So, you know, looking at issues of aesthetics and buffering is going to be important for them. And who benefits? No, that's not. <laughs> absolutely not. That is not an appropriate thing mm. that we consider. You know, people, businesses are allowed to come to town. We have an interest in public safety, environmental health, the way it looks, the community. Correct. Yeah. And how it benefits the community. Yes. That's what it means. Aesthetics, yes. But not in terms of monetary. It's a business deal. Mm -hmm. There is no business, there is no money associated with this other than taxes. Well, that's, that's interest to the town. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're avaricious, you know, avaricious. But that, but but I've been called a lot of things, that's all right. That's okay. not a bad one. But the most but important thing we'll like, be looking, according to the statute, that we have the biggest role is environmental. You know, making sure that we're satisfied that it meets their environmental uh, needs of the town and the surrounding area. And aesthetics, obviously, for our neighbors. It's going to be huge in safety. Those are the three big ones. So we have not seen, there is no final application, so we don't know what the taxes will be at this point. There's a lot of information on that's not there yet. There's a th right. There's no application. There's n no. there's very little with which to form an opinion on because it's we don't have it. 
That's exactly right. And so, you know, hopefully people will take the opportunity to wait till the application comes in uh, before they draw conclusions, because you do want to see what the application <laughs> actually is. All right. Uh, are there any other issues before, for the good of the town? <laughs> Going once? <laughs> really? Yeah, I, 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 we still have 20 minutes. I'm good. <laughs> Jerry, Jeff, Mike? Any other issues you want us to bring up later at the next meeting that we need to start looking at? I might have something to suggest, but not today. Okay. Okay. So we'll reserve a spot next time for Helen. Well, if you just get it to Joanne, we can always add it to the agenda. So just let her know before the next meeting. I'm sorry? We can add it to the agenda if you let Joanne know. Of course. Okay. Of course. All right. Well, we've Move got two journey. months, so that's why. That's Second. <laughs> Any further discussion? <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. Aye. And I encourage everyone to go to this meeting at 530 if you're able. But because the meeting is like two months away, I just don't want to present the thought yet. I'm about to develop it a little bit more. So. Okay. Yeah, so we've got time. It's the ones that they... <laughs>